Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and Christian's with me and today we're going to celebrate, celebrate good times, come on! But Halloween 3 is the best Halloween film. Actually no, we're celebrating our good friend Bronco Juggalo. I think everyone who's watching this video right now knows who Brad is. He is a very, very cool guy and he And had, an asshole. And why we're celebrating him is because he hit a thousand. Woohoo! Get on the thousand train. Get rah, on the rah, monetization rah. train. Get on the, set ch the, the, the super chat train. Woohoo! So yeah. Rah, rah, rah. So good on you, Brad. And Brad, Brad is, a, you just have to experience Brad. Brad, there's nobody else like him in our community. Brad is a one of You're right. Everybody else in the community is good people. <laughs> Brad is good people too. Ignore the boy. Is he though? Yes, he is. You're just pissy because of what he said on your birthday. Um, no, I'm just, no, I just, you know. But no. Uh, I like giving people shit. <laughs> but Brad is. That's a, how you know I like you. Yeah, Brad is though the most, uh, the, the most unique uh, YouTuber uh, in the horror community because there's no one like Brad. There's no one like Brad and he tells it like it is and he doesn't give a fuck whether you like it or not. That's who he is. He doesn't change for anybody. He's authentic. He's super authentic, and that authentic comes through, and we like him. And also, he's just a hell of a good YouTuber. He gives really in interesting uh, perspectives on movies that might not be uh, everybody's. Night might is really night might not be Christian's perspectives, and sometimes not my perspectives. But I can always listen to him and go, okay, I don't necessarily agree with that. But he makes it in a very good way, and he'll make some good points. So yeah, I like him, and he's also a very caring guy. He's got a he he, he he's a he's a tough guy, but he's got a really nice heart too. He's a very he's always been a great friend of this channel, and we love you, Brad. So big thousand dollar not thousand dollar. We don't have a thousand dollars. We would give it to you if you had it, but we don't. But big thousand dollar hugs to you, Brad, because uh, hitting a thousand is like you know an ultimate goal of every YouTuber and I think you'll probably be a really, really big channel. You're already a big channel, and I think you're just going to go up and up and just keep being authentic because, you know, that's just you, and most people appreciate that. So uh, Brad is running a contest for a 1,000 subs, and he had two questions. We've got two answers. We've Well, I guess four Technically answers. Technically four answers. We've got I, unless we both have the exact same qu answers to both questions, in which case there would be two, two answers twice over. I get that. So four Four answers. We, we, he's got two questions. We've got four answers for him. So hit me, baby, one more time. Celebrate, Brad. If you weren't reviewing horror movies, what genre of film would you be reviewing? Okay, uh, that's an interesting question because... I don't know, like, I feel, and I don't know near as much as almost everybody else in the horror community, but I do think I know a little bit about horror, just a little bit, and I feel comfortable on giving my opinion because I think I, I and I always research, you know, it, I, I always do on my solo reviews, and I always think I give you a fairly educated answer, and, and I just truly love horror, and I don't think anyone can call themselves, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, where I don't, I hate gatekeepers, you know, if you love horror, then you're a horror horror fan. That's why and you are, and I definitely qualify, and so does Christian. Um, I don't know that I could could give any sort of, um, of, of uh, as, as in-depth answers for any other genre of movies on YouTube. Um, I, I, I did want to do a porn channel because, you know, the porn critic is gone, and I, I think it would be kind of interesting because I would do as in-depth reviews on the porn as I would in the horror stuff. I think it'd be funny, and it, it, it could be that that one is always rolled in my head because I think that would be a funny and kind of different channel. Um, could I do anything else? I love drama and melodramas, but I don't know how good that is. I could do maybe like a chick flick channel, but most people would think you know happy comedy kind of things where I would go more melodramas because I do love melodramas. And melodramas don't offer much comedic potential. Not all usually, but um, but the, yeah. So I probably wouldn't do anything if I couldn't do horror because I really don't think I would. I I, I feel like I wouldn't be qualified qualified to talk about anything else. I don't feel like I'm very qualified for horror, but I think I know just enough to give my opinion to you guys and hopefully I'm entertaining. What about you? So short answer, you would review porn. Maybe. I get that. I'd do a test run. I get that. But probably not. Wasn't the test run the necromantic review? 
Yeah, and it did do really well. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, fuck you. Fuck the horror community. We're gonna go do porn now. No, it uh, would be weird having you as my. Well, sidekick. I guess you can go review porn. <laughs> um. Anyway, for me, uh, I'm debating this one because, like, I don't consider this a full-on genre because there's so many genres in this genre. But you can argue the same thing about horror movies. So I would talk about foreign films. I, I love foreign films. I, that's my. I, I love mo a lot of my favorite movies are foreign films, and not just. And I don't just love like the horror films. Uh, Asian dramas I, I'm a big fan of. You know, General Tokusatsu and stuff like that. Uh, Korea has some really, has been doing some really cool westerns. French cinema is very interesting, you know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I would probably talk more about like foreign films and stuff than anything. But even then, you know. I think it would be good because, and I like the fact that it wouldn't just be strictly horror because you'd have more to work with. Yeah, just general, I think general, that'd be very general Asian stuff like, you know, and, and stuff like, I don't know if you would count movies like Snowpiercer since that had an entire American cast and was made by a foreign director, but yeah, you know, stuff like would. that. You know, stuff like that. Very, very cool. What's Brad's other question? Uh, one, I've, one I've always just wanted to talk, uh, talk about is the original version of The Birdcage. Oh, that's yeah! A, the original, that's a, fr a 70s French f uh, film, so yeah. That would be very fun. That would be. Anyway, a uh, second question. During this trying time of the world we're in currently. Happy fun time, right? Uh, you know, I, when I was, you know, I was promised hell was going to be a lot more interesting and fun than this has been so far. Uh, anyway, uh, during these trying times, who or what do you turn to to keep yourself from going on a homicidal rampage? Uh, did we die? Because you said we're in hell. Did, did we die and no one told me? Uh, Why doesn't anyone ever tell Jen anything? You know, would you be all that surprised if, if you found out you were in hell right now? Really? Yeah, I know, Not right? Really. So I'm sorry about my little one-track brain. What was the question? Who or what do you turn to to stop you keep yourself from going on a homicidal rampage during these trying times? Um, as to who, I don't really turn to anybody. Well, Christian, you're I'm a turned. therapist. Yeah, yeah, I'm my therapist, who's an amazing therapist, because you know he he probably is gonna have a massive drinking problem because he deals with my bullshit every week. But um, yeah, I do have a therapist, uh, Christian. Um, I really, but usually I keep most of the shit to myself. Myself. Um, but uh, the horror community, I, 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 it, it is a distraction because I love you guys. I love talking horror, and when you guys leave comments, I, it always puts a smile on my face. Um, uh, so yeah, that would be the thing. Um, and, and my little boy, my other little boy, just he brings a lot of joy and happiness into my life right now. Um, you know. Yeah, yeah. And also this year was good because I did I did discover a good thing about myself, something I thought I, I could never do. I did, and it was like shocking. I don't want to get personal, but I was like, oh my god. There you go. Yeah. So what about you? Not my dad. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I, I'm a very reserved person, I'm very, you know, very much a shut-in, don't have many friends, don't have, we're, we're kind of very excluded from most of, like, you know, our extended family, it's kind of just us and, like, two or, two or three other people that, so, uh, you know, her, the kid, uh, the old woman, Here's the dog, my cat, yeah. not my dad, that's about it. <laughs> It's uh, after my birthday. I gotta get those few little digs in. I get that. Um, do you turn to anything like a thing or? I don't know. I I I do a lot of I do music. Uh, I, well, I don't do music, but you know, I've been listening listen to a lot of music and stuff like that during this. You know. Do you turn to porn? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird on a few levels. <laughs> I know. You're do, like, you, do you turn to porn? You know, I don't like, want an answer. Don't want an answer. Don't <laughs> want an answer. Me. Don't want an answer. You know, I like. I don't like, want an answer. Don't you, want an answer. Then why did you ask? Okay, me? Brad. So yeah, this has been great. <laughs> uh, you're a great, wonderful person who we love very dearly. We do. We do. Yeah, love sure. You. Let's go with that. We head do. Head and on, the boy loves on. you as much as I do. So congratulations, Brad. You're an awesome person. I like these questions. These were fun questions to answer. Uh, you're you're probably going to be doing another. You're going to be doing a 2,000 sub here, I bet, in, in, in a few months. I wouldn't be surprised. You're very talented. Um, you're authentic. You're a cool dude. You have a good heart. Um, and and you'll, you tell it like it is. And I, I like that about you. Um, and uh, But again, like everybody else, you, you try to hide it, but you're a very, very kind person, Brad. And you're as good of a person who has the wrong opinion about Halloween 3 it can be. And then the boy. But you know, you guys.
guys, that's, that's high praise coming from me. That, that you two give each other shit. That's how you show. You, that's how you two show love for each other. But we do love you, Brad. We think the world of you. You've always been a great friend of this channel. And congratulations. Celebrate Bronco Juggalo. Woohoo! You so, were out of t out of key there. Jesus. Well, you know what? I'm, look I'm looking. Maybe I'll move up to where Brad is, and I'm gonna get a different partner. <laughs> I'm okay with this. <laughs> oh, that partner. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. still okay with this. Yeah, no, no, but we do love you, Brad, and hopefully uh, we'll get to do something one day, like, because we are both in New Mexico. We, uh, we would love to do a collaboration with you one day. We were day. planning a trip to Albuquerque this summer. That's dead now. Yeah, but hopefully one of these days we will get down there. You'll come. Well, something will happen where we can work. But when all of us maybe even add Bill into the mix because we'd like to do that. Something with that. But uh, if you're not subscribed to Bronco Juggalo, and I can't imagine anyone watching this isn't already, uh, Christian will leave the link in the below. Go show Brad some love. You're going to get some interesting perspectives on horror and on Comic Cave. Mm -hmm. That you know he does a lot. He doesn't just do horror. Yeah, he does a lot. And he has a good friend named Bill, and they work really. Really, they're really a good dynamite team together so definitely go check out Bronco Juggalo show him some love and we love you and again celebrate Bronco Juggalo woohoo stay spooky guys <laughs>